Hi everybody and welcome to another exciting episode of the Young Grown Ups Video Transmission. I'm your host Mark and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Deluxe Class Smokescreen. Now this is the first legitimate, legitimate release of Smokescreen that we've gotten. Late last year, Takara Tomy did release an Arms Micron version of Smokescreen, but he was little more than a white repaint of Knockout. Same vehicle mode, same robot form. I think he did have a new, newly sculpted head, but, I mean, he was basically smokescreen and name only. So, you know, this is one of those few, you know, chance encounters when the U.S. release of something is actually a, is much better than the first initial Japanese release. So, um, you do see him here in the Beast Hunters package. Uh, I believe this is a Predaking here on the front, or one form of Predaking uh, right here on the front. You see he's kind of decked out in all of his Beast Hunters gear. And thankfully Hasbro saw far enough down the road to allow us to remove all of this stuff and just um, be left with a just a clean, awesome version of Smokescreen um, afterwards. Flipping around here on back, you can see him in robot form. You can see the car mode. I'm ready to get all this stuff off of it so I can check it out in person. Um, a one-sentence bio that's, that's kind of lackluster there. Um, turn around here on the side, you can see his um, tech specs, which we won't take the time to, to go over. And uh, here on the bottom, you can see the uh, the other four members of Wave 2, which is Starscream, Bulkhead, and Ripclaw. Ripclaw is actually really cool. Now, um, these figures are not in stores just yet. I'm recording this uh, February 25th, so I'll try to get this up as fast as possible. Um, we did get these figures in Wednesday, Thursday of last week. Um, we ordered them from BigBadToyStore.com, and we'll put a link um, down below to where you can uh, order your set. Um, and uh, like I said, they're not in stores just yet, but they should be making their way in soon. So you'll definitely want to keep your, uh, your eyes open for these guys, and especially Smokescreen, because... He will be hard to find because he is such a fan favorite. So let's get this guy opened up and out of the package and check him out. Okay, here's Smokescreen opened up and out of the package. And as you can see, he's got a fair amount of goofiness all over him. I, I just... I just don't get it. I don't understand it. So um, we're going to take a look at it real quick just so that, you know, we can we can say that we did it. But uh, this stuff's going in the garbage here in just a minute. So basically you can see that he does come with what looks to be a, um, a blaster. He is holding this in the package when you receive it. Um, it does have a, a firing missile, which I'm sure it's, yeah, that was monumental. Um uh, and you know you have this sort of this soft rubber netting, which his armor is made out of the same soft rubber uh, material as well. Um, and if you notice, the the two sides are different, and that is so that you can fold them over and um, sort of connect the two together. Um, yeah, I'm not sure I would ever want. I'm not even sure why you would want to do this. I guess you could maybe wrap it around somebody's arm or something. I'm having a hard time even getting it through here, and uh, I mean, I'm sure you can get it to fit a lot better than I just did, but you can pull that all the way through. I'm just not going to take the time. I just don't care about these little pieces of junk they include for, for kids. Don't they know adults are collecting these figures? And uh, here is his pistol, which is very generic and just and just so generic that I'm not even going to worry about connected it connecting this to him in any way and I mean as you can see right right here on the side there are some little I don't know how well you can see that but there's some little tabs right there it's a little black tab is going through and that's what fits the armor onto a uh, smoke screen so again you could just pop that right off and uh, and have smoke screen just just the way we need him to look so, and again, you know, you can see how this fits on him in car mode. We'll stick it on in car mode just to, just to give it a look. But it's that same, it's very soft rubber. You can ball it up. And, uh, and you know, useless. Useless. Let's get it out of there. And, uh, and here is Smokescreen. And he looks really, really nice. I love the amount of bright colors and, and, and paint apps that they've added. Um... I, I really can't wait for uh, repro labels to get a hold of this guy and you know issue out some some proper stickers because I'm sure they're going to make this uh, this figure all, you know a lot better. Um, let's turn him around to the side. You'll notice he's awfully thin. Let me move his arm. Maybe you can see. There's not a lot to him. Um, you know, getting his arms up out of the way. He's uh, a pretty thin robot mode. There's not a lot going on here in the back. You do have the appropriate door wings going on. 
Um, but the shoulder pads are there, just like in the show. His face looks really show accurate. I can see some nice light piping going on in there. It's got some yellow light piping in the back. Um, looks really nice. I love the shoulder pads. I guess if I, if I had a, a one complaint is I'm not a fan of all this extra bulk that's on his on his forearms. Um, and it looks kind of bulky and kind of in the way, but you know I like how he's got the sleeker arms in, in the show. So. Um, that's kind of disappointing, but the the legs look good. Got some heft and weight to them, and uh, other than being open in the back, I do like again. I like the wings. I like the doors being there. So let's check and see how this guy sort of stacks up to some uh, some other Autobots and Decepticons. Here he is next to uh, Wheeljack. You know, kind of has that same bulk and weight to him. Um, they're roughly about the same size, head to toe, and. Um, and his Japanese repaint counterpart, Knockout. So Knockout looks to be a little bit taller than. So he looks good. He stacks up well next to the uh, next to the other guys in your collection. Um, man, I just can't really say enough about this guy's look. I love the the detailing in the chest. And zoom in a little bit. Um, some very nice detailing in there. He does have, and I you know don't know if this is a nature uh, or you know by the nature of his transformation, but he does have a full. Um, Swivel waist, which is always nice. Get some pretty good dynamic poses. And, uh, you know, fair amount of range of motion in these legs. So, this guy looks like you're definitely going to be able to get him into some killer poses. Um, haven't played around with him too much. Just got him opened up and out of the package. So, I haven't even transformed him yet. So, um, man, he's looking pretty tough. Looks good. So, let's get this guy transformed and in car mode. And, uh... And see if his vehicle mode is as accurate as his uh, Autobot form. Okay, so here we have Smokescreen in his vehicle form. And uh, all kitted up with his Beast Hunter's armor. But before we get into that, I wanted to show you the uh, the instructions seem to have gotten much larger uh, in this Beast Hunter's line. Um, I actually haven't purchased any of the Beast Hunter's figures yet. I'm just not a, I'm not really a fan of this um, this new series, uh, I'm sure the cartoon will be awesome, I can't wait to see it, I'm, I'm sure it will be, but maybe that'll change later, excuse me, but, um, uh, right now, I, I just, I, I haven't decided to buy any other ones, um, and I did not know that they came with such, uh, large instructions, but one of the other things they come with, in case you didn't know, is Tales of the Beast Hunters, they're already on chapter 10, this is only wave 2, and down here at the bottom, is I guess whatever chapter ten is. It's just a little story that they're um, that they're um, um, telling through the instructions, and I really like how they tell you. Um, you know, it's continued from chapter nine from Bulkhead, and then it continues in chapter eleven with uh, Shockwave. And I'm sorry, my camera is not automatically um, focusing on that. So, so that's kind of cool. And the instructions are huge. They're 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 quite large. So, um, wow. So here we have Smokescreen. Um, you can see he's got his cannon on top, and uh, we can just take that off. And it even looks like if you were to remove this from the missile, it looks like you could even put the missile, um, you can hold it like here. Um, it's got another clamp on this side. You can, you can hold it there. Again, garbage, going in the garbage. Uh, and his little armor just kind of like clips right on. Again, getting it out of here. Um, so here's the car himself, and he is so awesome. He looks so great. Um, my one complaint, and it's not even with the sculpting or the painting or whatever, is that if you can see right here on top, uh, mine already has some paint missing. It's, it's already got a scratch there. You can see it right there in the blue and in the white and then along the top because this is just painted white, so you can see some chips out of it already. And uh, because of the way he comes packaged in robot form, these pieces are hard to see. You can't even, there's no way to even guarantee you're going to get a good one um, until you get him opened up and transformed. But some really nice detailing here on the front, on the front grill. Looks awesome from the side. Love this huge big wing, very um, characteristic of the of the character from the show. Some nice detailing on the back. Again, really can't wait for Repro Labels to get a hold of this guy and and give us some you know silver wheels or some some stickers for these lights and stuff on the on the front. And it seems like they could really classy up 
this whole back bit right here. But uh, other than that, he looks really good. Um, I'm really impressed with him. Uh, I, you know, always you guys know I hate these little these little ports, these arms micron ports or mech tech ports, whatever you want to call them. But um, you know, to me at first he 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 kind of like he looks like a, a small vehicle, but he's actually quite large. If you look at him up against the Autobots' other resident white racer um, uh, wheel jack, you can see that um, he's. Oh, here, let me pull him in the front. He's uh, quite longer than um, than than Wheeljack. Well, not quite longer, but he is noticeably longer. Um, he he seems to be a little more low profile, a little lower to the ground, but um, you know, great scale. They they work very well next to one another. Um, I'm not going to try it out any other car modes to compare him to. This will this will have to do it. But um, but yeah, he he looks really nice. Um, I'm glad to finally get him in hand. Oh, one thing you notice, he he wasn't as bright white as wheeljack as you can see he's a little he's a little off white a little grayer so you know minor complaint my biggest complaint is the paint chipping and that's you know it's gonna happen so uh yeah man this guy looks great i'm so glad to have him in hand and uh you know like i said you know please check out the big bad toy store link below to uh, get your hands on this guy or be sure to check him out in your local stores um when he whenever he gets there and, and good luck finding him because i know he's going to be hard so uh that's going to about do it for this uh for this video transmission we're going to ask if you dug the video as always to please like comment or subscribe be sure to check out our podcast which is new every two weeks and you can catch that over at itunes or at ungrownups.com and until next time, peace.